All right. Welcome to the stream. Just seeing a uh, black screen currently. Yeah, I'm watching it with our with our faces. Cool. Here we go. Okay, so for today, I guess we could start by going over some of the newer art pieces and new features, and then uh, maybe hit some topics if anybody comes up with any. We're a little rushed this week, so coming up with topics is a little on the light side, but we'll do our best. Totally out of the window, so it's loading slower. Sorry about that. Just trying to get things set up. Problem. All right. Yeah, so let's see. Topics this week. What do we want to change? Man, a lot's been changing, actually. Uh, so I guess maybe we start off with kind of an update. Got, we got a, or you got a tutorial out this week, right? I did. I got a tutorial out finally. Um, just continuing on with the series, it's uh, getting your inventory to show up in a menu and uh, whatnot. And then I think I'm going to do drag and drop next. So, pretty happy about that. Um, and you can find that on the YouTube channel, which is linked. So, um, yeah. Happy about that. Got a decent amount done on guilds as well. So also happy about that. We're starting to get more and more in. And then finding the changes that we want to make. There, you know, it's it's taking time, but we are making those adjustments. Well, let's see, I hit a hit detection on something. Let's see. That's why I held up so long. Oh, you. I think it was, I think we have some breakpoints break in here. Yeah. I didn't hit earlier. I need to start the game before the streams. <laughs> but anyway, it gives us time to think of uh, topics for today. Yeah, I think one of the topics will be like mob differences, if I got my choice on that one. Um, because our new piece of art will allow for some of the differences to start to show up. Um, and I guess just to lead into that, our, our new um, mob is a zombie. And um, what's going to be special about the zombie specifically is that it actually has one less action point. Than a normal mob would be so three action points is normal four would be considered extremely fast and then two would be considered kind of slow i don't foresee having a one action point or a five action point but that doesn't mean we can't um in the original design it's not there um but it's it's an option that we can we can look at and then so because he's slower he's also going to potentially hit quite a bit harder um, so he's extremely CCable. Uh, like for instance, a frost bolt hits him; he goes from two action points down to one. Um, he's not going to be going very where for anywhere very fast. But if you let him get next to you, then he'll he'll whoop you good. Then I'd also like to have mobs, like I said, that have four action points, to which they're quite fast, but they're not quite as damaging. So they're going to get to you, they're going to hit you, but they're not going to whoop you nearly as hard as maybe other mobs would uh, those are kind of things I would like to do um, we can also look into other differences potentially we do have elite mobs um, which have typically higher damage and higher health um, but yeah kind of open up discussion what do you guys think about that or do you have anything to add that you would like to see things to discuss so on and so forth uh, I think starting with mob type, a good place. Then I don't really have anything off the top of my head. 
is a different topic. Types sound pretty cool. Um, so then we, I mean, from when we added things like a like a rat or whatever to or small or like non-humanoid things. Yep, just gotta get the skeleton done on those. Um, that's uh, another thing to get to. Um, but yeah, definitely a quadruped skeleton so that we can start to put together those elements of the game. Uh, I definitely would like to have quadrupeds. Um, then we obviously have bipeds, and then I'd also like to have things like a dragon, which are like quadrupeds, but also have wings. So they're six um, limbs. Uh, like a griffin or dragon? Uh, yes, a griffin also has six limbs. So yeah, um, stuff like that would be another skeleton to do. Um, I look forward to being able to get those in. They're not quite the highest priority yet, but something definitely I'd like to see. You headed into the dungeon there, Corey? Actually, I should probably pick up this quest before I go in there. Well, we might want to take a look at some of the newer stuff. Between the art that's not in the game, as well as things that are in the game. Sure. Um, oh, look. We got a way. I already had that. Okay. Well, I don't so think we, we showed it off on the, the stream. Head. We wanted to have the head faded out behind it. We haven't got quite there yet. Okay. Ah, just kidding. But if you select her, actually, and open your stash, hopefully that'll show one of the... Nope, you deleted everything. <laughs> or not deleted, you sold everything. Yep. Um... That will be more difficult to show now the graying or the redding out rather than just graying out. We'll get to that. The items. Yeah. You know. Talents. Talents. Yes. So uh, that's something to discuss is this uh, gold frame for uh, new skills. So all the ones with gold frames are new skills. But I feel like it is almost too bright. Like maybe it needs to be pulled back a little bit. Yeah. Like I like that they're highlighted. I don't know. But it almost looks like you own it already. It's hold on. There wait a minute. Yeah, it has it's more so of a border weird. than these do. Yeah, the the frame's not the same. It should be the same. Well, it's not the same. I don't mind that. That's fine. You could fix that. I was just talking about the coloring. It's almost a little too much on your face, I think. I think mm, pulling yeah. it back a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. I agree. Because like, I own these, and they're not very lit up. Right, at least these icons should be lit up if I own them. Maybe that's not working as well, intended. That's a whole other thing to... I. Well, I don't know about not working. I think it's probably just something I didn't choose to do. But I think I agree, Kyle. Yeah, it should light up. Okay, then let's get a... I'll put in a... A ticket! And then let's... Yeah. But yeah, I think pulling this back a little bit, it is very bright. Making it more of like a bronze as opposed to a gold then, maybe? It is also appearing more like, because the frame, the base frame, it should be using the one you see on the guild stash. Uh, that's the frame I thought it was using. That was that item frame. No, it's not using the item frame. Um, okay. But that's a, that was not what I was trying to talk about, but we can definitely... Switch the frame. Um, yeah, I found my topic. Yeah. To, no, that to me that was. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. I, I, I was just saying, like, I was more worried about the coloring. Um, we can adjust the frame to the other frame. I know you can do that quickly. It's that's not. What I was, uh, what I was, what I was really trying to mean though is it was related to that though because uh, one of the reasons I think it appears so much brighter is because the frame I thought it was using that one on the right there is brighter itself, so it would be less contrast and it's also thicker. So that gold frame is both more bright and thicker. Yep. 
Right. Whereas if you use the other frame in comparison now, it'll get the... I the like the thicker frame, frame in here, though. I think I, I think I like the thicker frame as opposed to the thinner frame. What do you guys think? I think this one might be too thick. If we want thicker, I think that this one's probably four times as thick, three times as thick. We might go to twice as thick. Okay. I think it should be twice as thick. Twice, twice as thick as what's currently yeah, there. The what's currently there is two pixels wide, I think, whereas what that gold one is is four. Oh, is that really only twice as thick? Mm. I'm going to pull it up and check real quick. Yeah. Probably a good choice. But while Kyle's pulling that up, if you want to select a mage, because I've only done this with the mages so far. Um, I don't have any it. items right now. That's okay. Go to talents. Move one in maybe, right? I can move a plate. You don't have to worry about that. You could do that. That's fine. Select a mage. And you can see, maybe put one of his cloth items next to it so that it's apparent and right next to it. Yeah, um, looks like I'm... Not high enough level for it. I can't use it. It's bad. Yeah, that's definitely. So that's that's a substantially greater change. It's more dark and red, where it wasn't red at all, and it wasn't all that dark before. So hopefully that'll make things more apparent and easier to see. Mm -hmm. um, then probably adding it on the tooltip or graying out the plate or something. Eventually. Maybe making plate red. Yeah. It's not a bad choice. I don't seem to have that frame. I'm not sure where that frame is from. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But we can create a new one and not worry about it too much. Yeah. What is the new frame, Kyle? How thick is it? The, the gold one in that one in the item there. That's that's the new frame. Um, and the new frame is... It looks like it's the item orders here. It well, is, no, yeah. It's... it's just reskinned that. Um, and it should be like... I mean, it's also pretty big. It's I made it painted a lot larger than the swing in the game, so I can't really tell how big it is in the game. Because it's eight thick, including the black outline. It is thicker than I thought, but... Also I... 128 by 128. So when you shrink it down to that big, how big is it being displayed there? Like, Well... My point is, is just I think it's a little too thick for the talents, and I think having a frame that's not the same as items is probably wise. Okay. Um. That's what that's my opinion. I would think four or five, maybe go from four or five to, I'm sorry, from eight to maybe four to six, somewhere in there, just a little thinner, slightly different design, still fit the style and everything, but just don't. I don't probably best it doesn't scream item when you're looking at it. Um, would be did these these sense. never did light up because I feel like in my head they lit up or there's some way to know that I had a talent versus well, another one. I think one. it's a pretty standard thing and I just didn't put it in. I don't think that I ever did that. I can't remember doing that. So okay. All right. What else is in? Um, okay, so if you un if you respec your your mage, then we can show the better talents. Um, which, whichever one has the highest level probably is the best to do there. But respec him. Go. Oh, they do and light then, up there. Okay. They do when you can get to them. I think you're right. When there's no points left to spend, it's probably best to keep the ones you do have highlighted. That's just a, I think, all around better choice. Um, but if you'll hover over any of the fire towns, or I think any of the towns will do it. But So it only says per point spent, but when you put a point in, it will tell you how much you'll get at the next level, how much you have and how much you get at the next level. So if you put another one in, the percentage will update, which it never used to do. Um, it used to say, you know, 4% per point spent, and then you had to, had to do some math or whatever to figure out what you're getting. Um, now the talent points will update 
in this way and tell you what you get the next level, which I think is just a direct improvement, unless somebody has a reason to say it's not. Um, but yeah, just more intuitive tool, uh, talent points. Yep, and even here, just to be nitpicky, they probably put improved Fireball 505 or something. Probably a bit of a delay, but... Um... Because I have five points here I just put in. And it says improve fireball. I don't know what. I think I normally that's see. Off the pay pretty standard. I think trying to okay. hold people's hands too hard. I I don't know. Well, Something. yeah, the only only caveat I'd say is those you don't you want to imply the difference between do you need all five or just one point. Well, yeah, but it's still red when you have four, so obviously you need five. Yeah. But I don't know that until I've put a point into it. If I haven't put any points into it and I want Meteor... I, I understand what you're saying, but that's a pretty I'm, standard yeah, thing. Yeah, I'm fine either that's what way. what I assume with all tooltips. Right. Or with all talent points in any game that, I ever play. That you need all of the previous? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I was thinking Diablo 2. Which doesn't require that. That's not a talent system. That's a skill system. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm thinking <laughs> of skill systems. I will put a little resistance there. If we really feel like we need it as we move forward, then we can definitely re-approach it. I, I feel like that's getting to a granular level to where it's going to get... It's more in the way. It's more text on the screen and not helpful potentially so to most users. Jumping topics, if it's a good time for that. That's fine. Uh, this is kind of cool how it tells you a little bit of a reminder of what you're doing for the quest, and you click on the blacksmith for the quest that you're on, or is this just because it's like a uh, town one quest, like the main storyline quest? It is a storyline quest. I don't remember the exact details of how or why that message hits there because like the light of drawn well we talked about the the quest showing up and being more visible i hadn't noticed that before so that's cool but maybe that would be an option for running quests you would have to just come back to the town to see what it is on each building though i think i would prefer it to be in the quest menu we probably need a quest log yeah which i don't know that we have i don't think we have so I think that's something we can add. Let me put that in. I think we might have one for that already, quest log. I don't remember seeing it, and I just went through it all. Okay. So either I completely missed it, or... Um, and if it's a duplicate, we'll remove it. No big deal. Okay, all right. Anything else that we want to show? Um, maybe the new art on the buttons and the menus. Okay. I don't know if you have those or not, but. I mean, uh, it's on box, but. I'm not sure if Corey's going to share that. Don't have a good way to show that currently. But those may be in by next stream anyway, right? Do have a lot of art to update. If somebody's going to go through and redo every button, then maybe. And going to go through and redo all the menus. Um, possibly. I foresee that as taking a little more time than just next week, but I could be wrong. But okay. If we don't have. A good way to show that, then I guess we can move on. Uh, anything else that we're seeing or any topic that we want to cover? Do we want to talk about um, secondary types besides the zombie that we want to add soon? I know you said you have to do the skeleton for quadrupeds, but there's other, like, uh, humanoids that are non-humans that we can still do. Um. Yeah, I mean... We can look at like ogres or whatnot trolls and all that. yeah well trolls i see as a playable race ogre i don't 
Because the playables will probably all be standard. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Because otherwise, I mean, we don't have, they don't have to be. Maybe that is an interesting thing to think about. Maybe we do have slower and faster, even playable races. I hadn't even considered that. Um, it would make race very important. It would make race extremely important. It's already pretty important, even if it doesn't seem as such. Um, I don't know. I mean, it, it definitely adds to strategy, but it also removes from being able to play the classes, the races that you want to. So here's a fixed issue real quick. And hover over guys out of your range. We ran into an issue like what, two streams ago, I think on? Something like that, yeah. So it's definitely there now. Um, your guy hovers green. I think we maybe talked about that last stream. Um, not hovers, but your guy, this, the guy who's turned it is, is green. Or red if it's a bad guy. Um, and uh, yeah, I need to get a lot more into the battle scene, but there's been so many other things to fix. It's hard to get to everything, so. How do you feel like that new graphic card's doing for you, dude? Liking that thing? We could discuss your graphic card for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, soon all right. I still get some hiccups here and there on different things. I don't know that it's a graphics card, but um, I have a lot running typically when doing this. Plus running in debug mode is... Expensive, sure, yeah. Uh, do we want to talk? Um... How do I feel though about the main hotbar menu at the bottom? Just the art that everything goes into. Right, the background. Yeah. Uh, can be improved. I think it's big. It is big. Having a scaler was actually the first thing that came to mind. Having a way to scale the each item potentially like each ui element potentially because i wouldn't want to scale them the same right i wouldn't want to scale like the top up here the same as i scale down here i might want those big i might want these small then we get into whole like ui scaling but maybe uh maybe starting with down there and having elements independent of each other a little bit would be nice um if you've got a hundred hours to put into it, then maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, I I think that's going to be something that is very difficult to undertake, based on both time and monetary budgets. Uh, I'm not against it. I think it would add to the game. It's just that's a very expensive thing for. Yeah. I mean, you don't see that very often outside of AAA games because it's so expensive to do. And I don't have the programming in the engine for it, so. Oh, he went to a different spot? Hmm? He walked to a different spot than I put on there, but I'm happy oh, with I it. That's, I'm, I thought that's where you put it. I'll have to look at that. I He went to where I thought he was supposed to go. I was mainly thinking if it I thought it looked kind of overly busy. It was distracting. The bottom thing? Yeah, um, now that we have all of the elements you interact with in it, I'm kind of like, it's a little hard to tell certain things you can and can't interact with. Okay. Not necessarily the hotbar, but mainly the turn, the turn weight at the bottom right and the little counter with the arrow at the bottom left to switch your hotbars. I what do you think up. would fix that thicker borders or um kind of simplifying the art and making it look probably a little bit more like how i just deleted the menu with the wood not necessarily with wood but just um i understand what you mean yeah okay 
Um, I don't know how high the priority on that is, but I can see that being something we definitely do before the launch. So there was another one that I went to where my cursor was, but it was extending the range of where my oh. turn was. Did you see that, Kyle? Yeah, I just saw that. You got like an extra 20% movement. Mm -hmm. uh, I keep missing it, but I will relook at the video. Uh... Sorry to distract, no, but fine. that's... Uh... That's fine. I will relook at the video and see if I can see what happened. At like 25 minutes in. Mm-hmm. I wonder if it has to do with you being having to move around that barrel. Yeah, I was you're... moving around items both times. Yeah. So like, I don't know that I want to overextend and kill this guy. Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't care about any of that. It only cares about that on placing where the, the cursor is. It should be going to where the cursor is at the end. Where the not your cursor, but the the class icon cursor thing. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely went beyond that. Like this, let's see if I can get it to go out here. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so put your mouse to the bottom right of that crate, maybe. Oh never mind. I was wondering, so if you try to move right in the middle of the... I'm a little slow. <laughs> because I have the delay in the stream. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, yeah, so try... If you just put it there, and then... Yeah, just try and hover it, like, around as close to the edge of the boxes as possible when you go. Yeah. Yeah, it's... I think it's click in the yellow still, though. Yeah, I clicked way outside of it there. I don't know. Interesting though. Yeah, we'll I'll keep an eye on it. As for the kind of getting back to the main topic though. Uh, yeah, maybe going actually even on that one, it may have been going like one dot too far. So it may not be clipping the the total path down quite far enough. It's possible. I don't remember what we were talking about before that anymore. Time on the menu at the bottom, sorry. Uh, no, no, and then after that you brought up the, uh, crap, what was it? I can't remember now. <laughs> so if I were to change anything on this menu, and I think this would end up doing what, what you're talking about, Kyle, which would be simplifying it, a lot of the space underneath the, the skills is too much, and then you have a space above the skills, I would remove all of that. And then the health and mana bars, I could probably go with two thirds the height on. Just to kind of squish that down a little further. I don't know that we can make the head really any smaller without starting to lose the detail. So I don't know that we can fix that. Um, I think, uh, The skill book could be more book looking. Yeah, definitely. It, I can see the book, but I think maybe if it was the shape of the book in general, instead of having that circle behind it, it might help. Um, it also would give you more pixels to work with. So you could make it more booky looking. The weight icon, I agree, it needs to be brought out somehow. And maybe it is just removing the detail around it. I don't know. That one's going to be something you're going to have to figure out. Um, but you're right, it does blend in pretty hard. Maybe making that icon a little more like a stroke around it or something. So it doesn't just look like part of the Or just have like a the... standard yeah, button feel to the... I think if I put it on... Uh, so you remember that wood frame we just looked at this morning? What if I put it on a wood background like that, but like it was chiseled into the wood? Kind of how I had the title. Because then you also have that big color difference of you're not like glass on gray. It's now actually a very different color background. I 
hesitate to go with a wood thing because you don't have wood anywhere else here. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, well, I, I understand it, what you're trying to go with to make it stand out, though. If I, I figure if I'm shrinking that, though, I'm going to have to redo that section, so maybe I could tie in the wood somewhere else then, too. Um, I mean, kind of redoing some of the design on that bit. Or I mean, if you can find a way to make it look nice, then, I mean, I'm not against it. You obviously have something in your head. I can't see, and you know how I am with art. I can't see. I'm not that great at it, so... Um, uh, taking a second shot at it, the worst thing that happens is we say, nope, and we keep what we got, right? So, I mean, it's not the end of the world to have a... to take a chance on something. So, I'm, I'm fine with that. Again, I don't know the... This is a super high priority. Uh, I think a higher priority would be the general everywhere UI, um, which we're making steps in. I wish we could show it, but we don't have a good. We should have uh, set that up for for Corey to be able to to put that on his screen um, in the future. We'll have to be careful about that. Um, and we'll then, have it next week for sure, but. Like, that's a much higher priority. And then the zombie, like I mentioned, that's a... I wish we could show that as well. We could show that pretty well in GitHub. The zombies all put together and whatnot. Um, okay. I think those are kind of a higher priority bit because they're easy for people to see the change. And the battle one works pretty good. It's not bad. Yes, it can be improved. But I'm just saying, like, those kinds of things are maybe a little lower priority than um, the larger change items. I would say on this screen, the highest priority to me is fixing these unit cards to be better. And part of that is going to be getting the new fonts in. Yeah. The new fonts, the, putting in the new font in the game is going to be a hellish experience unfortunately um, because I mean think of how many fonts there are in the game and how many of them all have to be tested and made look right and, ugh, it's gonna be awful but um, getting those bars to be not quite so tall will give us more space and then we can I don't know maybe we just need to make the unit card slightly larger what do you guys think on those Probably need um, a turn separator that's better than just that triangle. Yeah. That kind of goes all the way up in between them. Okay. Yeah. He's... No, I yeah, don't when I was looking school. at this menu, I was just thinking the two things that bugged me was that menu at the bottom and then the shadows, but the menu card, I can see what you're saying too. The shadows? Yeah, I didn't bring that up because that's not, not, not an easy oh, thing on, to fix. On the couple of things at the top of the battlefield is that what you're talking yeah. about using round shadows i wonder why those are using round shadows i don't feel like those should be reusing round shadows so no. let me let me write that in either those items i didn't put the shadow on or uh, or we don't have a shadow but i can't i, I don't I don't have a shadow that's probably most likely that's a me issue not a you issue Let's see, so the wine and then the workbench. Wine rack and work bench shadows not working. Question mark. Um I'll sign it to me. Let's see what I can do about finding that. Um Yeah, the cards okay, so they're just bland. And that's no one's fault. I put them together. And I put them together without any extra art, and that's part of why they're bland. Um, so, oh, you know what we really need? New uh, health bar, mana bar ends that are just flat. That'll also gain us some pixels back. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, which will help. The new font being so much more readable is going to be huge. As soon as we can get it in, I just, oh my god. Dreading. Absolutely dreading that. 
Yeah. But it has to get done, so. And I did the sound bank update, uh, which most people won't even notice, but there was a bug where if a sound was already playing, which is, this is rare for this to ever happen, and then the same sound needed to play again while the original sound was playing, it wouldn't play the second time. So um, for a different project that we worked on for normal work, not video game work, um, I actually fixed that. So I brought that sound bank from that other project into this project, and uh, that should solve it. I haven't seen it happen since, but it's a pretty rare thing, so it's hard to test for. Um, completely redid the way talents work, and again, that's using code that I've developed for for our business work um, and brought it over. So that's a huge improvement in the way that we're able to, to display and give people that information. Uh, another thing that we did for a different business project is we completely redid the way fonts work. First of all, Kyle wrote a program so that we can basically take any font and get it rasterized into a uh, usable game font, which is huge. And then uh, I com I completely stripped down and, and redid the vast majority of the font uh, code in order to get it to, well, I believe bug free, but we'll just say less bugs. Um, and as well as the alignments and everything are better and the measurement tool is i believe pixel perfect now whereas there was actually small problems at times in the other one uh, all the fonts because of kyle's program uh has equal spacing now as opposed to there was irregular spacing at times um and that was an issue with the art so the issues with the art should be solved the issues with the programming should at least mostly be solved um so we have a when we put the new font in, it should be substantially more readable. And you would not believe if you haven't worked with fonts before, how important it is that all of those little stupid things line up perfectly in order to make your font readable. So, um, really looking forward to getting that in. Um, but again, every font on the entire game has to be potentially adjusted. Um, it's just a, it's a big thing. All right. I talked too much. You guys. Go ahead. Enable and disable equipment. I was just watching that. That that's a that makes a big difference. Actually, I really like that. The reddening is that what? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. I liked it too. I was like, oh, I only have to look at these like four pieces of gear now. Cool. Instead of, oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Except for when you're dealing with the plateware. You know what we might do? What do you guys think about this? Having like a a yellowing out almost of things that are less than the top that you could wear. So for a plate wearer, everything is highlighted to use, right? So maybe cloth and leather should be kind of yellowy or some color to say this is not the top of what you can wear. But what if the all you have is that? That's like the only gear you have. Well, that's what I'm saying. It'd be different than the red. Like, caution almost. Like, mm -hmm. this is not necessarily peak for you. I don't know. It was just a thought. I just thought of it right now. It wasn't something I had planned out. Because the issue is the plate wearers, they, everything is usable, you know? Okay, so yeah. like a cloth robe would be yellow. Like, you probably don't want to wear this on your warrior, but you can. You can, yeah. Corey, you're the guy that plays the warrior. Mm. Or used to, at least. I'm trying to think. I've never really seen it done. Uh, nope, me either. Uh, do it would help. I'm just trying to think of how, like, if leather had a specific icon, and maybe we show that in like the top right or something. You know, like if let's just say leather had an icon, cloth had a different icon, plate had a different icon. Does it say when you hover over it what kind it is? It does. Yeah. Right now? Okay. I don't know if we want to clutter the UI up too much more. Yeah, I mean, the, I'm just thinking out loud. I think showing icons and everything, you'll learn kind of what to look for. Like if it had like a number or the slots, right? But 
Now I've got a lot of information in the icons, which isn't completely bad, but you just have to pick what you want to show in there. I mean, then you would say, like, what's the difference between, like, a main hand, a one hand, and a two-hander? Now that I've just hovered over that, I'm kind of... I don't know. I think that's a hard thing to solve. Well, in a perfect fun. world, the icons for main hands and two hands would be different. That's a matter of getting enough art in mm -hmm. to have that doable. Yeah. Um, and that is just a time and budget issue. Our budget was so small to begin with with this game that we just didn't have that. That is something we could probably rectify, I would imagine, relatively soon. Something Skyrim does that um, when we think about then with icons, if we want to do something like that, is uh, they differentiate between one-handed, two-handed at a glance based on the the angle of the weapon. In, in it, like a diagonal angle means it's two-hander, straight up and down means one-hander, for them specifically. Because we actually do have an icon for every single weapon in the game. I don't. You don't? I think so. I remember. Let me double check this. Oh, that's subtle. I could go with that. For the one hander, two hander. I don't know how you I would do. I don't love vertically facing weapons for the I, most part, though. Yeah, I wasn't saying that we had to do it that way. Like the same way they do it. That's just, that's what they do. But they could fit, one could face right, the other could face left. Yeah. It's super like that. subtle. Um. I'm okay with going to that, to having something about them. I don't know that people will pick that up, at least not initially, but they may eventually. Their brains may figure it out. I'm not against it. I think it's fine. Just if you're looking for easy ways at a glance to differentiate mm -hmm. one hand to two handed without cluttering up the. Well, the, I mean, that was just, line. that was a thought on top of the plate, leather, cloth stuff, you know, like. Maybe if we could solve one, we could solve the other. And I don't know that... I think we Weapons are a lot harder to decide whether you should or shouldn't be using them. Yeah. Because they're more based on the stats. For some, Like for the mages, for instance. Who cares if it's a sword or a staff? As long as it has your casting stats on it, that's what you really want. You're not super worried about the damage on the item. Though... Though I do melee more in this game than I on a caster than I would in like a WoW oh, yeah. or a Diablo or whatever. Um, in fact, in Diablo, I don't do ever really on a caster. But well, oh, Diablo three, Diablo two, you definitely do at times, especially early in the game. Well, maybe we add a wand slot. What? Um, sorry, I just wanted to clarify first of the the reason I was saying that is that I was trying to think of a way when you look at an icon in the weapon. It would be cool if you could know the classification of that item, if it's cloth, if it's plate, very easily. So if there's design decisions we can make to make it obvious, like certain angles or something. Well, I think it's the texture, right? So one, it, the leather stuff needs to have an obvious leather texture. And I think it kind of does, like looking at it, that's leather. You know, In general, it does. It does. In general, it does. Um, that's a little, My a only cloth. thing was not about that it's that when you have if you filled this entire guild stash up right completely filled to the brim even if it things are plate looking and leather leather looking and cloth looking it's still a lot to look at yeah which is why we're dimming these out right for for the same reason we're dimming them out for the casters and the leather workers where it's taking away stuff to look at um that doesn't affect the plate people so you're still stuck with the plate people looking at everything. That's why I was trying to solve that. And, mm -hmm. you know, maybe there's no solution, but that was just a... I think that's a hard solution. That's. I think it is. It's going to take some time. Um, but it would be valuable. Besides the icons, I think the, solu the best solution, or the really the only solution I've seen is, yeah, the icons are different. And we kind of do that. I'm going to try to make it obvious, but for certain things, like really specific, like fancy magical items, it can be hard to tell if it's like metal or um, 
right. leather sometimes just because there's so much gold or gems on it or something. Yep. Well, and you may have a strip of metal and a cloth piece of yeah. gear big for highlighting or whatever, and it's still a cloth piece of gear. I understand what you're saying. That That's why I was trying to have something that was less art-related and more coloring-related in the same fashion as the red and grayed out um, for I can't wear this. Uh, Barrel says, could you have a drop-down highlight option at the top to the right of the guild stash where you could choose highlighted cloth or leather to find out what you're looking for? Like a filtering? Um, yeah, a filter. That sounds kind of cool. Filtering is something that I actually have a plan on, yes. Um, I just like the automatic. Uh, this is not wearable for you so much that yeah. I was trying to think of a way to have it automatic. Um, but yes, the filtering is absolutely something we need to do, uh, as well as sorting. I have notes for both of those. Um, those are definitely things that I would like to see in the game in relatively short order, definitely before the end of the year. I don't know that I'll get to them, but I will try. Um, so yes and yes on both sorting and filtering. Um, Kind of something that just popped into my head, which is totally outside the box, but I'm just going to say it, see what you think. Go for Instead it. of cloth, plate, leather, and obviously I'm not saying do that here, but just thinking down the line, what if you assigned a weight value? And so like plate was worth five pounds, let's say cloth was worth one pound. Um, that is the old school way of doing things. Um, it. I'm not necessarily against it. Um, we've got people spamming our chat. Looky there. Um, yeah, first spot. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm not even sure how you so that kind of stuff, but um, whatever. I'll figure that out later. Um. If you want to do the weight-based version, typically that's going to go better with a more loosely defined class. Yeah. And like I said, that's kind of down the line. That's something that I am not really a fan of the cloth versus plate, personally. Uh, I think it's kind of lazy, really, that because this is a plate, I can't put it on. I guess it does make a bit more sense. It's too heavy. Okay. Like that that does kind of make more sense, I think. I see what you're saying. But it's everywhere, right? Like not to say that uh I get it it matches with a lot of stuff, but I feel like there's a better system. It just hasn't been You you call it lazy, I call it design space. Um Yeah, okay. I understand where you're going with it. And the way I think you're saying it's lazy is it takes less balancing, and I agree with that. <laughs> tremendously less balancing even um so yeah like i said i just want to touch on it not to say that we're doing that here but it was just kind of something that popped in my head oh, that no, i think we're definitely not <laughs> let's switch the system um, <laughs> we need to but that's that. okay to talk about i don't mind talking about game design in general we don't have to always talk about guilds of delinar like we can be talking about all kinds of things you know we have other ideas for future projects that are unstarted and that would be somewhere if we wanted to go with the looser classes y'all are going to have to make quite the case because i don't love loose classes um but that doesn't mean that we can't have the discussion that we that we can't try a game that way um yeah i have a perfect i have a perfect game for that so i'm good i'm glad to hear it um but yeah uh anyway we've talked about quite a bit do we have anything else we want to touch on before we yeah we probably do need to wrap today? up soon uh, uh did, oh, yeah sorry. go ahead oh what barrel said with the drop down um we have some space in there i'm wondering and this would fix a lot of my icon issues if you had a sort a filter i don't really like a drop down the most because it's not the quickest something quick and easy what if you just had check boxes a row of check boxes like cloth plate leather and they all start checked by default and when you uncheck one it highlights it yellow all of that item so like i won't only want to see my cloth i'm just gonna only show cloth and everything else is gonna have that coloring well, i think green would or, or green what you would but yes well keep I, in mind no. you're, keep you're, in mind we're uh, updating the ui as well so we're updating some of these panels so like 
The guild stash might be more like what you made the. Uh... It'll be that title area. Yeah. Oh, so you might have some, uh, have some good room. But to the sides of that, depending on how we make it, maybe there'll be space for that. Mm -hmm. um, or on the bottom. Filtering with a checkbox system would probably need to be like a menu that drops down. Like you click the menu and then it drops down a, a set of them just so we can get a bunch of. Right, because you might want to. Yeah, you might want to filter out. No. Really prefer different options. Boss, just the right there. You don't have to click into a menu. But well, what if you want to filter like lot of UI Epic space. versus common? I wasn't even thinking rarity. I'm just thinking type. The color of the icon already really easily shows the rarity. I'm thinking. It does on an individual one. I agree. But again, when you're looking at a hundred items on your screen, it is extraordinarily different, difficult for me at least, to filter that manually with my brain looking at a hundred things like if you ask me look at this menu for 30 seconds and tell me how many epics are in here i'd be like uh, 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 without counting right if i went through each one and counted that's different but that's not what we want right we want to be at a glance um if possible if it's impossible it's impossible but um so i think that would solve the issue i just for that specifically but i think that would just then lead into well could i have Maybe we want to do this, right? Maybe we want to do that. So I think uh, having some sort of design to expand that out, if we were to do filtering, allow it to filter more things would be wise. We'd want to take everything into account that we'd want to filter. Yeah, start so with the simple stuff. Having the checkboxes, four of them, I think is limiting. And then it's just going to lead to, why can't we filter by this? Yeah, I guess you could also add the drop down for the rarities and things. But the I was just thinking by type, like I pick up my warrior and like you say you can see everything with the warrior i'm like okay well i'm only interested in leather on this guy maybe i'm built for leather for some reason right so i'll just check him well something to cover just so it's been said cloth has more stat points than leather which has more stat points than plate because plate has more armor mm. which is part of its stat points well um, that's cool i didn't actually know that. that here i think that's there that absolutely is a difference between them okay now is that difference balanced enough is it completely perfectly well thought out thing no um probably does need touched on and worked through um but plate does get less stats um than cloth but you also take substantially less damage that's something that drove me nuts about uh about wow for the longest time was oh the plate gets just as many stats as the cloth then what the hell do i want to be yeah. a lobby for yeah, yeah that, that's why in skyrim i always wear heavy armor on a mage <laughs> like why not <laughs> right and so those kinds of things got to be thought about and then you don't want to be wearing plate if you're not getting hit so there's got to be some negative and cory was talking about weight you know that's or cory was talking about weight uh and that's important that's one way to differentiate for us we i think it's a five percent difference between them so plate gets ten percent less stats than cloth and leather gets five percent less than cloth but five percent more than plate i think what it is don't so we don't have that. mail right there's no mail now um currently which i would like to have had it it was a design decision we made in order to um reduce costs yeah realistically. i don't love it doesn't really seem like it has much of a place in wow anyway right like, <laughs> like kind of bleeds together well they did a piss poor job with that system in wow in my opinion. i think yeah mail was just kind of like a mm. I, only two classes use it and neither one of them really get hit so you're like well why do they even have mail i don't understand um now if you had like percentage tanks so like the shaman was actually designed to get hit in the face here and there then now mail makes sense yeah because it's not it's not plate so they're not really supposed to be your main tank but there are instances in which oh we need another tank let's have the shaman get beat in the face instead of the mage that in makes classic well had more of a more of a use definitely than any other version like the shaman could almost pull aggro by whenever he wants by using the proper shocks and then 
DPS warriors are always pulling aggro, so matters in PvP. Yeah, but it like matters a, in PvP. Yes. A good hunter, whatever, shouldn't get hit. One v one, right? Well, yeah, even in PvP, yeah, like you said, the hunter shouldn't be getting hit. That's true, and so. Same with the shaman. You can frost shot kite year round any melee, but with his totems and everything. So again, a good shaman shouldn't be getting hit, really. I guess if he's enhancement, but. So I guess that could have been built in better. Well, retail doesn't exist. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, retail doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. That's not a thing. But anyway, um, yeah, kind of a all over the place stream but we didn't really have too much planned things are a bit crazy for us right now um next week we're oh, probably gonna we have, have been a getting go ahead sorry yeah next week we're probably gonna have a random day stream um so yeah we don't know when that's gonna be yet yeah and so there things has been have been crazy for us but we've been getting a lot of extra hours on guilds and hopefully you guys will be able to see that um as you see the updates, I mean, we put out our first update in a year the other day, Monday or Tuesday. I forget what day we put that out. So that's huge. I mean, it's it's not a huge update, but it's huge for us to get to the point where we're updating again. Um, yep. And, and I'll definitely so, have all the art and everything that we're working on to put in game soon. I'll have that up on the stream next one. I'll have a I have an idea for that. So should have to be able to have it all over the screen. Perfect. All right, guys. Well. I think that's about all we have time for. Uh, we have a real work meeting to get to. <laughs> and not to say the games aren't real work, but they're they're not what's paying our bills right now. So um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you for watching. If you got this far and you are on Twitch, please hit us with a follow. Uh, it would help us out. And you'll see the notifications when we're back on. And if you're watching us on YouTube, then, you know, like, subscribe, do all the things. Um, and we'll be posting one of these basically every week. So have a good one. See you guys next week. Bye.